starting with, you know it, we don't want those weak knees that rotate in. We want that strong neutral position to start. Good. Set up your foot core. So toes up, spread them wide, reach them long and rest them down. Big piece of real estate. Big toe needs to root into the ground. We're going to bring our attention to our right knee. And what I want you to do is keep your big toe on the ground, but I want you to give me 10 external rotations. And it's actually a hip external rotation. That knee drives out. Good. So 10 of these. Now, what's happening at the knee relative to this is an internal rotation. So that big toe is holding the tibia in. And this is the motion that is so nutritious for your knee because we tend to do this all the time. Getting a couple more. But we're going to go into a split squat position. So your back heel is off the ground. Good. Be wide enough that you feel like you have balance. Check your core. Now our back leg, without your pelvis moving, you're going to drive that knee out. And so commonly when people run, this is the beginning of that egg beater running pattern where you have those wear patterns on your shoe and an angry knee, patellar femoral syndromes. We don't want that knee diving in, especially when it's behind us like this. So this is a beautiful exercise, working hip extension and external rotation, keeping it strong for that push off. Nice, let's make sure your pelvis isn't moving. It's just hip external rotation. And again, when our hip does this, the relative movement at the knee joint is tibial internal rotation. We love that. 10 on this front one, so big toe into the ground. And this one stabilizes, don't let it cave in. 